Well, this is meant to be a pretty simple question, which is phrased in a way that makes it a little more complex to answer than it seems. Let's start with the last aspect of equivalent ground support radar tracking. To discuss that we need to keep in mind the stealth capabilities of Boti aircraft, with the F-22 having clearly superior stealth qualities giving it an advantage. But modern radar technology is capable of detecting and tracking stealth aircraft very effectively. So we have three scenarios to consider. Both aircraft are supported by the most modern highly capable radar surveillance and are therefore being tracked by each enemy force at all times. In this case, the Eurofighter Typhoon has a clear advantage over the F-22. Depending on the country, the Typhoon carries anti-aircraft missiles in its arsenal that have a much longer range. It can also fire them without the onboard sensors needing to detect the F-22s. The Typhoon also has the higher top speed and can under these conditions dictate any long-range engagement. It also carries more and better countermeasures against incoming missiles than the F-22 does, because some of those countermeasures would make the F-22's stealth capabilities obsolete. All this is strictly looking at long-range scenarios where both planes are being tracked at all times, effectively rendering the F-22 stealth capabilities obsolete, and thus naturally not at dogfight scenarios within visual range, which are then very unlikely to occur. But in a classic dogfight, the Typhoon should also have a slight advantage, because it can fire its missiles nearly 360 degrees almost all around, and it has a more aerodynamically efficient and higher maneuverability with the canards than the F-22 has with its vector thrust. Why this is so, and why the F-22's vector thrust technology that allows it to maneuver during cruise without moving any aerodynamic wing surfaces happens to be much more of a stealth improvement measure than providing any genuine dogfight advantage. That is another longer topic to explain and discuss. Only one of the aircraft is being tracked by the enemy. The other one is not discovered by the support. Well, in this scenario, we can pretty much say, whoever knows where the enemy is first is the one who can attack and fire its missiles first. The F-22's stealth capabilities will very likely give the F-22 an advantage in any case where its opponent is not assisted and supported by modern radar surveillance. This scenario becomes fairly theoretical. As mentioned, the Typhoon can carry missiles with a much longer range, and it has the higher top speed. So whenever the F-22s are detected and tracked early enough at a distance that is beyond the F-22's attack range, the Typhoon can dictate the engagement or avoid an encounter and escape. Both aircraft have no or completely insufficient ground support and radar surveillance. In this case, both aircraft would then have to rely on their own onboard sensors only. And in this scenario, the F-22 clearly does have a massive advantage unless the F-22 is required to close in and visually identify the target before engaging. But in many realistic scenarios, a visual identification would of course be required before the target would be shot down. So in this type of scenario, it would depend on the rules of engagement. And whenever a target would actually really be engaged without the requirement of visual identification, the F-22 would then certainly have a great and deadly advantage over a Typhoon or any other aircraft in the world. But an interesting question here is, how likely is such a scenario to occur in reality? When would an American aircraft ever really attack a more or less unidentified target without any form of visual identification? If you think these three basic types of scenarios through and consider the probability of the rather rare situations where the F-22s can truly and fully benefit from its sophisticated stealth capabilities, then you probably get a good idea why this extremely expensive plane is not being built anymore. As great and superior both planes, the F-22 and the Typhoon, are over their possible opponents. Both aircraft are originally products of Cold War developments and originally developed for relatively obsolete Cold War type of scenarios.